The 2020 bowl season was interesting. Of course, nothing was normal during this weird season, but we may never see a bowl season like this again. There were some bad bowl teams and pandemic frauds that got exposed, looking at you, 2020 Colorado, but one team had the chance to be the strangest bowl team of all time. Before I start, I ask that you like and subscribe and check out my other documentaries, podcasts, my best friend Jackson, and more. December 11, 2020. 3 and 5 UTEP travels to Apogee Stadium in Denton, Texas to face 3 and 5 North Texas. Surprisingly, this game has bowl implications, as it is the pandemic shortened season of 2020 and the NCAA allowed schools with losing records to play in bowl games. UTEP comes in looking for their first bowl appearance since 2014, and if they win, they will have arguably the weakest resume of any bowl team ever. The Miners, came, the miners wins came against two FCS schools, Stephen F. Austin, who went 6-4 and four with four wins against Division II schools, and Abilene Christian, who went 1-5 and five with a loss to Division II Angelo State. Their one FBS win came against 0-10 Louisiana Monroe, who got outscored by an average score of 42-16. to 16. A win over North Texas would have given them two wins against sub-500 FBS schools and two FCS schools. The combined record of the teams they beat would have been a horrible 10-24. This arguably would have been the weakest bowl resume of all time. Ultimately, North Texas took care of business in an exciting game, beating Utah 46-43 as Austin Ani threw for 302 yards for the mean green and five touchdowns, while Utah turned the ball over four times. To the victors went the spoils as North Texas won the chance to play in the inaugural Myrtle Beach Bowl against Appalachian State. Maybe the Miners were spared, as North Texas would famously allow Appalachian State to run for 506 yards and only 38 carries, with Cameron Peoples rushing for a bowl game record 317 yards on only 22 carries in the inaugural Myrtle Beach Bowl. Rumor has it Cameron Peoples is still running away from the North Texas defense to this day. Like and subscribe for more mini-documentaries like this. Thank you.